I feel like for the national team, like right now we're, we're at a good spot and I think we're where we need to be. Mallory Pugh is one of 23 women on the U.S. national team seeking to reclaim their title as World Cup champions in France. They've been in the spotlight for a long time now as the best women's soccer team in, in the sports history. And they've used that time to draw attention to gender inequality in the sport. But the women in general feel they, you know, they haven't gotten the broader support of the Federation in everything from promotion to hotels and air travel over the years. FIFA, which runs soccer around the world, pays the women at the World Cup significantly less money in bonuses and participation than they do the men. Since I've been on this team, my eyes have been opened to just the inequality. I would say that we're a close team, but to fight for something like this, we definitely, everyone has to be all in, and we do have to be as a group. On International Women's Day in 2019, 28 members of the team joined a lawsuit against the U.S. Soccer Federation alleging gender discrimination. We've seen them over the years raise issues of equality, of their standing in the American sports scene, not just in the soccer scene. And we see it again now as the build up to this World Cup. They're taking the spotlight, the momentum from what they've accomplished and bringing attention to what they feel are inequities in the, in the system. I think lots of women see what we're doing, you know, as a national team and they want to get on board. They want to support us and they also want to to take that into their environments and that's why I think we're doing it. It's not just about us, it's about women everywhere. The team uses their platform to ask for equality around the world and they've been able to raise the profile of women's soccer. Women's soccer has made great progress around the world. There are now professional leagues where they never existed before in, in many traditional soccer playing countries. And there's a league here in the U.S. as well. Gains have been made, but in their mind, there's still, there's still a long way to go. We've come in at an exciting time where there's a wave of new, younger players, but then there's also still a lot of incredible veteran players. And that's going to set up an extremely competitive World Cup when the games start on June 7th. I think you're going to see the greatest level of interest in a Women's World Cup ever around the world, not just in the U.S. You will see countries that traditionally ignore women's soccer coming out and supporting their, their women's team at a World Cup.